Well, thank you guys for showing up. It is class before the break. All right, some things that are going on up to school. Uh, we've got uh, one sound class. Hey, got a one sound concert tonight and tomorrow. Uh, string and wind ensemble next week. And then a new music and a solo guitar deal. On events, go down all the way to uh, la 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 la. Uh, not that. Uh, that right there. Uh, you got your uh, watching party. Uh, the first day of your break, the 21st. Uh, you got mechanical bull riding. The first day we're back in class. Uh, followed by uh, pancakes and PJs party. If y'all have the time to make that. And then of course we have the virtual 5K. <coughs> One of the cool things that's going on that they just informed me of is uh, Collin College is going to be working together with the uh, Homeless uh, Coalition uh, to help collect items for our homeless population here in Collin County. A lot of these items can be bought at like the dollar store. Basically bring them up to class and I'll collect what all my classes bring and I'll take them up to campus. Uh, like uh, instant coffee, instant soup, hot chocolate, energy bars, cheese crackers, fruity snacks, uh, small packs of goodies, small cans of pork and beans, hard candy, full top applesauce, trail mix, Vienna sausages, chicken salad with crackers, and some oatmeal, peanut butter crackers. Uh, like I said, if you get them at a dollar store, usually you can get them at a low cost, and you can get a lot of them. And one thing I also know that the um, homeless population really appreciates is socks, even though they don't have that up there. Uh, but it would be a good chance to help out your uh, brother, your fellows in the county. And then, of course, we've got the writing contest still going on. You know what's so sad is all the students, apparently, that took my quiz didn't realize that I mixed around all the answers over here. So C was no longer the right. Ah, that's a lie. Anyway. Um, but the student writing contest, remember guys, take advantage of that. Uh, once again, you can tell the story of uh, someone in your family, like uh, first generation that came over here, or even the first generation that came to Texas. Um, or you can tell your own story, you know, like the complications that COVID uh, caused on your life because this is about working class studies and uh, some of y'all were trying to look for a job and you found impediments to that or the restrictions on your daily life of you know you can't go to the places you used to go to for entertainment etc. Any questions? All right let me go ahead and pass back to quizzes real quick. Uh, Christian? Oops. Krishna? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Bianca? No one's here. M Miguel? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Antonio? Uh, Hanin? Uh, Marie? Mm -hmm. Danielle? Are you sure that wasn't Mahin? 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 Sorry. Danielle? Corey? Corey, 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 Corey. Andrew? Fra? Uh, Ishman? Ish ish Inshra, I'm sorry. Allison. Allison. Do, do, do. Oh, sorry. Amber? No one? Uh, Samaya? No, Samantha. Samantha? I don't know what you're That's basically a C. I just asked Aline? 
No, you turn your ears in today. Aline? Aline? Renee? Nehemiah? Abigail? Amy? Liv? Which one? Three, right? Yeah. How long? Yeah. Yeah. Hamza? 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 It was not Peter? Alexandra? And Lena Samaya and Camille, I'll get your packages as soon as possible. What? Not Peter. Hamza? Not Hamza. Aline? Who got a four? Good job. Anybody? Oh, anybody else? Anybody else? Bueller? Bueller? Okay. All right, now we got up to this, and I guess this, got to turn off the camera because otherwise I'll have to edit it out. Now it is. Joseph Smith was a guy who uh, said that he found that the angel Moroni told him where to get some golden tablets, which he uh, dug up, and utilizing seer stones that were there with him, he was able to decipher the text and basically, uh, according to the uh, Church of Mormon, what happened after Jesus uh, rose after the ascension in Jerusalem was he came over here to America and he preached the gospel to a Native American tribe that was later wiped out by other Native Americans. But uh, he had, now he had access to another testament of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Book of Mormon. And so uh, he began to uh, get followers. And remember, this whole religion kind of combined uh, romanticism as well as religion. And it started out in New York, but because of some uh, differences, like uh, the Mormons believed that you could marry, have many wives. Um, they had to leave New York to go to Ohio, and then they had to leave Ohio to go to Missouri, and then they had to leave Missouri to go up to Illinois. And we find out uh, what happens to them in Illinois. I'll give you a hint, Joseph Smith gets killed. Ready for the next line. The weak alternative to Jacksonian democracy. She was doing math instead of history. And I gave her both the wag of the fingers. <clears throat> At first, the anti-Jackson forces, this is like under Henry Clay, the guy who had given up his presidential aspirations in the hopes of becoming president. And guys, basically, at first, they're totally unable to unite. So in 1832, all of the Jackson anti-Jackson forces go down in defeat. Mm. 
Now, who were these guys? Guys, these were people that were totally dissimilar, didn't really have a lot of unifying things. Yeah, like Clay supporters, Southern nullifiers, anti-Masons, Christian reformers. About the only thing that really bound them together was their hatred of Andrew Jackson. They coalesced into what was known as the Whig Party. And in the 1834 congressional elections, they won a lot of victories against their Democratic counterparts. So they're excited and they think that their popularity is on the rise. Now, do y'all know how to keep a class in suspense? I'll tell you after Thanksgiving. Sit through. We'll have a quiz on Wednesday. Because I want to get, um, I, even though, guys, I will post this, I'll also post probably, nah, I'll post the documentary that goes with, a documentary that I made that goes with lecture 13. Uh, Gonzalez talking about